Thank you for coming back to our eighth video in um, our integration series. <clears throat> this video is going to be talking about um, using the integration tables. Um, integration tables are typically found in uh, the back of your calculus textbook, but there are also many resources that have thousands of <clears throat> int integrals that um, you can use. And a majority of integrals that are solved are found by using integration tables. <clears throat> um, I have included the I have included some integration tables that you may find helpful um, below this video in the description. So integration ta integral tables are basically just um, general methods, simple ways to evaluate <coughs> integrals without having to rigorously evaluate them. So as just an example, a simple example is uh, using the power rule. Um, the integral of x to the 53 dx. So we're going to flip over to a, an integral table and the general um, expression for this is the integration table is x to the n dx is equal to 1 over n plus 1 times x to the n plus 1 plus c. So here, n is equal to 53. So we have 1 over 53 <coughs> plus 1x to the 53 plus 1 plus c is equal to 1 over 54x to the 54 plus c. So as we can see from our first example, <coughs> it really is just a plug and chug method of evaluating integrals. The second example, um, <coughs> we're kind of stretching the boundaries <coughs> of um, where we can actually use multiple techniques at once, <coughs> which is often what you'll be doing. So, in this example, we'll be using um, both substitution and the integration table method. So, as an example, the integral of 1 over x plus 3 dx. So, using an integration table. First, let's um, just uh, redefine. So, 1 over u du. Let's just make sure that we can do that. So, u is equal to x plus 3. du is equal to 1 dx. So we can, we can do this. So we have the uh, integral table. The integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of x plus c. And the reason why I uh, put the absolute value is because you can't evaluate um, a natural log. You can't evaluate a log in uh, the, at all. You can't evaluate a log of a negative number. <clears throat> so it has to be absolute value <clears throat> in order for uh, the function to be considered continuous. <clears throat> so plugging this in, we can find that this is the natural log of u plus c is equal to the natural log of the absolute value. So u is equal to x plus 3, x plus 3, plus c. And we're just going to do a few more examples. 
using an integral table. So another example, the integral of 1 over x plus 5 squared dx. There are a couple ways that we can do this, but the way that we're going to do this is using the integration table. We could also use uh, substitution and we'll get the uh, same result. The integral of 1 over x plus a squared dx is equal to negative 1 over x plus a plus c. Now we can just say that a is equal to 5. So this integral is negative 1 over x plus 5 plus c. Another example. The integral of x times x plus 4 cubed dx. <coughs> Using the integration table, the integral of x times x plus a to the n dx. This one's a somewhat long expression, so I'm just going to bring it down to the next line. Is equal to x plus a to the n plus 1 times n plus 1 x minus a over n plus 1 times n plus 2 plus c. <clears throat> now we're just going to define a is equal to 4 and n is equal to 3. So once again, this is just a plug and chug. x plus 4 to the 3 plus 1 <clears throat> times <clears throat> 3 plus 1 x minus 4 over 3 plus 1 times 3 plus 2. So we can rewrite this as 4 x minus 4 times x plus 4 to the 4th over 4 times 5. Now that this worked out nicely such that we can take out the 4's from this expression and divide by 4 to eliminate the 4's so we can, for, we can further simplify this expression we'll get x minus 1 times x plus 4 to the 4th over 5. <clears throat> so this expression is actually what we would get if we were following this. And this is just the simplification of that expression. <clears throat> and another good way to do this is by actually finding what the polynomial this is equal to evaluating the integral by using the simple integration techniques and checking to make sure that you get the same answer. <clears throat> and you'll probably have to uh, evaluate this polynomial as well. <clears throat> Two more examples. <clears throat> And they are using uh, trigonometric functions. <clears throat> so our next example is the integral of cosine squared 3x 
dx uh, using the integration table. The integral of cosine squared of ax dx is equal to x over 2 plus sine of 2ax over 4a plus c.